So, you want an award? Hop up here. We going somewhere? All right, V. It's a simple matter. We, all of us standing here, owe you. And it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saw. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. From what might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. So it's about time we fix that. A downright injustice it is. It needs fixing. You're gonna be an Alda Caldo. Which means this family will go to hell and back for you. Ready, kid? Come on, V. Do your Say worst. your peace. You're one of us now, B. You're an Alda Caldo, damn it. Great to Thanks have for you everything, with us, V, and don't worry. We'll get you into that Makoshi. Isn't that the welcome way? Welcome to it? the family. A warm welcome for our newest Alda Caldo! <laughs> he welcome to the clan! He is! The most dysfunctional ever! Jack, it's incredible. See? He likes it. Listen, as soon as we're back from Makoshi, we'll celebrate. And I know just the place. My treat, of course. We'll hold you to that. Don't worry. It's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch is too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow we're shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. A raid is a raid. This is still your night. Some basketball and you found glory. Could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you all right? Yeah. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jacket? Not too tight? V, are you glove. well or not? Feels like I've been wearing it a while. Don't you think you have? You earned this jacket. And the Alda Calder's devotion. Thanks, Pan Am. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. Listen to us. I need me some ammunition. Three or four packs. This yard sale of some sort. I might have. Essentially, you have to look take around. What you want. And so maybe I'll the take two more forty would be... Seeing as Dakota the seems to be feeling generous Worthy today. gesture. Dramatic, even. Actually, pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me.
What just happened? Still can't quite wrap my head around it. Hardly anyone ever does. The day you get your jacket is a day you never forget. So, time for a ride? Yeah, I'm game. Hop in. I've got green across the board. Good sign. Where are we headed? Bobby said there's a scrapyard east of camp. Perfect spot for a little target practice. <laughs> now let's check Bobby's little find. Punch it, V. Big spool, you think? Let's head back. I'll have to check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. Are we heading back? I'll take her now. I get picky about parking. about tomorrow it's not a matter of nerves not anymore don't you want one uh, why the hell not back during the war before we were first deployed we were trained to keep stress in check do you want to know how how they gave us chem cocktails Supplements, boosters, God knows what else. They shot them into our veins. Our biomons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing, and boy did we stabilize. After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. Thought they banned cocktails. During the war, even. Please. Weren't there outbreaks of cyberpsychosis within units? And? Do you think Militech gave a lick about that? They just airlifted the afflicted to their clinics in Taiwan. <laughs> Daily flights. And every day we'd get fresh recruits. Still they pumped us with that shit. But hey, we couldn't argue with the money. So, not afraid of anything at this point? If only it was that simple. I'm not concerned about tomorrow. Raids like that are second nature. It's what's going on in the camp. Eh, no matter. I'm talking silly now. 
come on. All in the family now, isn't it? The truth is I'm concerned about the goings-on between Pan Am and Saul. They seem to think that putting on a brave face for everyone is enough, but folks here aren't slow. There's gossip spreading like wildfire already. That Saul won't pull through, that he's in it for himself. That this family needs a shake-up. I don't want to come off as an ungrateful ass, but... I really hope this camp morale doesn't spill into tomorrow. It won't. Saul and Pan Am did one thing right, at least. They welcomed you into the clan. Not a one will abandon you in your hour of need. It's like this, see? Pan Am's hell-bent on helping you. But Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Possible loot from Makoshi. Mm-hmm. If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Arasaka tech that'll set us up down south. Do you follow? It'll lose folks' fears. Buy Saul some time. Saul's a smooth operator. He knows what he's doing. Let's just hope he hasn't overplayed his hand. All right, we've gossiped enough for one day. What was just spoken stays between us, okay? I'm gonna poke around some in this baby's insides. Right. Happy hunting, Mitch. function at higher altitudes. Well, we can't let it hover just above the ground. In those conditions. I'll see to the sensors. You keep checking the thrusters. Maybe something is loose. Wish I were on the road. Hey! Where'd you other business? At? I too have got things to do, you know. What now? and Mike. Hey, friend. Kind of hot lately. Over here, V. Take a seat. 
We have this little ritual we engage in. What's this ritual about? A few cold ones ahead of a raid. Oh, <laughs> that kind. But this isn't your average brew. It's one of the last bottles from our very first run. We kept a few crates for good luck. What was it someone said then? Shit, can't remember who. Someone said, when we finish them all, the Aldecado's luck will run out. Ah, superstitious bullcrap is your hobby. <laughs> Says the brother whose hand is all shaky when he pops one open. I'll take a swig. Well, well, not bad. To tomorrow. To goddamn safe returns. To Saul and Pan Am. Because if they don't kiss and make up, everything's liable to go tits up. Bob, you're just always the optimist, ain't you? Fee, you must know where they stand. Do you? You think it's really that bad between them? The truth is, we need cash. And fast. Amen. This Mikoshi's a personal thing to you. But Saul, he sees an opportunity for the clan. If anyone of the family is still left standing tomorrow, Talk to them. They've buried the hatchet. Buried the hatchet? Well, I'm really glad they've come to agree on sending us on a suicide mission. Be cool now, Bobby. It's nothing personal, V. I'm just saying how things are. I think Pan Am knows exactly what she's doing. But does she know what she wants? Useful if she wants to take the clan wheel. Cool your heels, friend. No one's taken over anything just yet. We need to focus on tomorrow, brothers. Let's all get back in one piece. Then we talk clan politics. Can promise you one thing. All the Caldos will survive. Make sure of it myself. Easy on the promises, V. But you're right. This clan has a chance to rise from the ashes. I'm of the same mind. If we come back from Mikoshi, if this crazy-ass plan works, it'll be a fresh start for the Aldecaldos, I say. Mm -hmm. This feels like the part where Bobby says, it. Hey, now. I'm no defeatist. Don't call me that. All right, best be going. See you tomorrow. Do you fellas really think we'll find anything of value there? I want to get myself chipped. Straight to the point. I like it.
Yeah, I drove it. A monster, not a machine. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, yeah, I drove it myself. Okay. And when you want to hit the road? Look what the cat. Drag down. Aim to prep for tomorrow? You could say that. The trick is to hear silence in your mind at the bang. I heard that a long time ago, round about when I was your age. I remember it to this day. I'm expecting bangs in good numbers tomorrow. So I'm trying to remind myself of that silence. Mind if I join you? Dad, I even remember what it's like not to hear my mind churning away. If you like. Twelve bottles shattered in fifteen seconds. Full focus. That's your only chance of doing it. I'm doubtful you'll pull it off. Let's find out. Are you that confident? Well, I'll bet my revolver you can't do it. I'll start counting as soon as you step on that line. Begin! Stop! Piss poor. This doesn't bode well for tomorrow, kid. Break a leg tomorrow. Oh, I'll break more than that, kid. through tomorrow. I know these people. Some better than myself. The focus of mind, sense of purpose, calm before the storm. They'll give it their all. Yeah, I bet they will. Good night, Saul. Wait. Hmm? I feel I need to make one thing clear. You've done a lot for this clan, and for me, more than anyone ever has. But the family comes first. Saul... Let me finish. I also know there's just one thing that could break it up at this point. If Pan Am and me... If we went our separate ways, the Aldecaldos would not survive that split word to occur again. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? You're helping because you got no choice. I want the clan to think you and Pan Am are acting as one. In other words, you're playing politics. It isn't that simple. V, I'll send these people to their deaths tomorrow. So I have to know I'm not doing it just for you, me, or Panem. But for the good of the clan, I get it. You'll understand eventually. That jacket wasn't for nothing. How about us, Saul? We good? It's an important day tomorrow. Get some rest. <laughs> 